rebound in the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in control of this game. And, and no doubt about it, rebounding is an effort stat, folks. They've been more determined than their opponent thus far. Screened by Villanueva. Larkin, the pass to Villanueva. Here's Hudson, and the shot is good. Superb assist there. He played the role of the maestro on that one. The 76ers shooting so well, 63% the offense working as one cohesive unit. And Noel kicks to Hood and stolen by Ellington. No good from Hudson. Ellington defending. The dish to Hood. Inside, there's Noel, and he jams it after taking the nice feet on the run. And check out the bounce. Oh, bounce, bounce to the outs. Clark, how about that? Yeah. All right, you showing said him it, off Kevin. right there. Good move. You said it, my man. He's a highlight reel waiting to happen. Pass to Ellington. He feeds it to Villanueva. Five on the clock. Larkin. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Andrew Covington's checked in for Philadelphia. Dallas also making some changes. Adrian Payne comes in for Charlie Villanueva. And Berea subbed in for Larkin. Dishes it to Hood. Passes to Okafor. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it three. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside and go strong to the rim. And Greg, you know, the defense has been very slow to adapt. I mean, that's 10 straight points now inside. They've struggled against him in this one, just no answer for Okafor. Nine points and also a block shot. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Ellington kicks to Pekovic. That's short off the rim. Physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. That plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Yeah, not to mention what it says on the scoreboard. They're really pushing them around straight bully ball. For Dallas, they've gone just 33% from the field in the fourth quarter so far. They are two of six. The shot's good from Ellington. Wow, what a pass there. He made that a very easy basket with that setup. The feed to Hood. Oh! Nasty. Absolutely filthy. And the building is stunned, partner. He dug deep into his bag. Of I tricks tell you there. what, I hope he keeps that one handy. I want to see that one again. There's the screen. Kicks it to Hudson. But he stays with it. Good for Hudson. another field goal. Number five in the night. Five for ten shooting. And the second chance points aren't easy to come back. It's all about effort and hard work. And he has today made it look easy. Hood loses his man off the screen and lays it up and in. It's just hard to believe that someone can perform at such a high level. They've got to thank him for this lead. Berea dishes to paint. Good, and it's Berea who picks up the assist. Berea's got his seventh assist here tonight. The 76ers leading by 21. Pass to Covington. Covington gets the screen from Hood. Covington kicks to Hood. Wide open look. It's rebounded by Dallas. Pekovic has got his fourth rebound in this one. To the inside. Intercepted. One on one here. Here's Hood. And down it goes. Jamming that one home. Easy to see who's going to win that race. Yeah, early offense is often easy offense. Excellent work that time. The Mavericks have gone 5 of 10, 50% from the field. Ellington with it. Feeds to Berea. There's the pick. Rejected by Hood. To the paint. Here's Covington. It's tipped. And now it's Ellington running. He can go all the way. And he gets it to go. Ellington's got six points in the quarter. Adrian Payne. Time out for the 76ers. Okay, let's give a hand to your own Sixers dancers. The 
the 76ers leading by 21. Here's Hood. Pekovic with the rebound. Pekovic has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Now here's Berea covered by Okafor. Now Berea. They set the pick. Just five on the clock. Off the screen. Payne can't hit. Boy, he really bungled that finish. For Philadelphia, they've gotten into a pretty good groove going 6 of 10 here in the final quarter. Some nice ball movement here by the 76ers. To the left side wing. Inside. Here's Okafor. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. The first free throw is good. Chandler Parsons, he's checked in for Adrian Payne. Taking two shots. Both free throws good for Mokafor. And here is Ellington. And there's the pass to Berea. There's the pick. He kicks it to Ellington. It's good. Great play set up by Berea. Berea's got assist number eight here in this one already. There's the dish to Hood. He feeds it to Okafor. And here's Covington from the arc. And good on the basket. Book it. And you like to see since the half now. He's finally starting to come around. The Mavericks have gone through the fourth quarter shooting 50%. 7 of 14. Berea, the pass to Ellington. He dishes it to Berea. Pass to Pekovic. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Yeah, heard the whistle and then kept his focus and able to still knock it down. And, Greg, to be able to take the bump like that and maintain control, that's not easy to do. I know you're kind of a little fella, but I was a big guy when I played, so I know how difficult that is. That was impressive. I see. Pick by Okafor. Down low. And that one's good. Noel. Almost uncontested. I mean, it's nice to be able to add to the lead without having to really work for it. Now, here's Berea. Got a piece of it. Okafor with the steal. Pushing it up. And he caps off the fast break with a monster slam. <laughs> Quick hands on the steal and then just mad hops on the slam. Great sequence for them defensively and Clark offensively. Well, one usually leads to the other, Kevin. That's just good, aggressive, attacking basketball at both ends. Passes it to Ellington. And stolen by Hood. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. What a nice feed. And that assist gives him a triple-double. That's my kind of player. Versatile as baking soda. Multi-uses, multi-dimensional. He can do it all. Noel dishes to Okafor. Ball's knocked loose. Here's Berea. Arson's on the wing. And off the front iron, and in it goes. Assisted by J.J. Berea. Timeout for the 76ers. Both teams will make substitutions. They are enjoying the commanding lead. And it really gives them the opportunity to give their starters a rest. Always critical when you get ready for that home stretch. Here's Larkin. Step back shot. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Hood's got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. Grant sets a screen for Smith. Grant outside. Off target from three-point range. Even though he isn't having the best of games from the floor, it hasn't seemed to hurt him. Here's Alexander. He's covered by Grant. Down low. Alexander gets the bucket. You know, it's a plus to get good looks in the paint. And when you can get them, you got to score them. And Jenkins kicks to Hood. Stevens, the pass to Hood. 
They double him with Payne. To the inside, Grant. Payne with the block. Here's Larkin. There's the pick. And Anderson has it in the corner. For the three. It's rebounded by Jenkins. The 76ers leading by 23. Move the ball. Stick it too much. Down low. Anderson with the ball. Now the pass to Doyle. Here's Alexander. And it's out of bounds. The Mavericks able to retain possession here. And it's a completely new group on the floor for the Mavericks. Here's Ellington. Count it. And with that basket, he's now 9 of 15 from the floor. And really, the scoring this quarter has been just off the charts, doing all he can to bring him back. They get it again. That's good. 15 points for Nerlens Noel. He's played an important role in their offense today, guys. Without him, they may not be in the lead. Berea kicks to Pekovic. There's the screen. Hudson dishes to Ellington. The feed now to Pekovic. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Pekovic has got 11 points here in just the second half. They're not as aggressive from the outside here, but maybe they should think about stretching the defense a little bit, like they did in the first half. I mean, stretching the defense makes it easier to score inside, too. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this one, Greg. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. <laughs> Is it me, or does it just feel like he gets every rebound that comes up? Well, he practically has gotten every one that's available. A 20-plus rebounding game is not something we get to see very often, Greg. Yes, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it, just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for the 76ers. The blocking really turned things into their favor this time. Well, Kevin, timing and anticipation, they got the blocks, and that definitely changed the momentum in this one. And with this effort tonight, grabbing their eighth win of the year. And so they'll take the first game of the season series, a team they'll only see twice. They're certainly happy to start it off with a win. And that next meeting, Greg, will be their second and final game of the season series, being in opposite conferences. So you bet nobody wants to get swept even in a two-game season series. But I think the next game will be hotly contested. A fantastic show. And, and what an amazing all-around game it was for Big Smooth. What more can, can you really ask of a guy? I mean, when you come out and get a triple-double, making Hudson. contributions all over the place. That's a clean look they gave him there, fellas, and he drains those. Philadelphia with the ball. Five-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Dishes it to Noel. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Didn't take their time in wrapping this game up. They came out with a sense of urgency. Nice ending spurt to polish it off. Once they had him on the ropes, they started throwing haymakers at him. <laughs> the whole knockout blow. 15 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Here's Payne. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. The, the, the offense has clearly kicked into gear. The question, though, is it just a little too late? Yeah, I think it may be, Greg. At least they're finally showing some signs of life offensively. And too bad, I think it's past the point where it'll do much good. And that's just a little more for these fans to cheer about as they get ready to celebrate a W. Well, let the party start. The celebration begins, and they're going to let their guys hear it. So it's the 76ers winning this one easily. It was a tale of two teams tonight, one that was in total control, operating flawlessly, and Clark the other just searching for answers right, that they could never find. Well, I think these fans, too, Kevin, gave their team a tremendous lift. I mean, they never gave up on them. From the opening tip until the end of the game, they were in it, and that certainly helped this crew get to the W. And now let's catch up with Doris Burke, who's standing by on the sideline. Doris? 